women's social media. It's just a lot of beautiful underdogs. <laughs> That's in a part of something very dramatic. The entire world's against them. Where they'll be like, when I began my journey. They're all on journeys, by the way. All around the world. They're like, when I began my journey, no one believed in me. That's what these girls don't understand. It's not that no one believes in you. No one gives a shit about anything anyone is doing but themselves. No one's thinking about you. No one's going to bed at night being like, you know who's never gonna open a small business? That bitch, Jessica. Good night. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on social media a lot, unfortunately. And I was dating a model. I was, fo I was following a model. And uh, <laughs> models love trying to normalize themselves. They're like, I know what it's like to be a regular person. Because I went through an awkward phase in grade school. So condescending. I know what it's like to be a regular person because I went through an awkward phase in grade school. That'd be like me going up to an amputee and being like, I know what you're going through, pal, because my foot falls asleep sometimes. <laughs> so I get it. Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, same <laughs> Yeah, it's all very pseudo-spiritual. A lot of talking about the ancestors. We need to pray to the ancestors. We need to ask the ancestors for guidance. Look, if you're black or brown or indigenous, go ahead and pray to your ancestors. White people, do not pray to your ancestors <laughs> under any circumstances. All of my ancestors were toothless, Irish, illiterate, alcoholic maniacs from a very different time <laughs> who I could not rely on for any guidance whatsoever. I can be like, ancestors, I'm having a hard time with my girlfriend. What should I do? Because be like, lock her in the shed. You're like, oh. <laughs> Push her off the cliff and blame it on the wind. <laughs> it works every time. <laughs> Boy.